Well, my question really is about actually a kind of Gandhian question about uh, violence and how to live with it. And uh, in your case, it's also personal. And so could you sort of say a little bit on your own personal resilience on it, but also how you envision the compact between violence and nonviolence in Indian society? Uh, I think, I mean, the word that comes to mind is, is forgiveness, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's, not, it's not precisely the, accu the most accurate. It's, You realize, well, I'm thinking, you realize, right? No, because you've, you've uh, I didn't mean to stump you, but it's, no, a, you very it's a very no, obvious question. You haven't stumped me. But I no just... one's asked you, I'm surprised. No, no, they've asked. They've have they? I'm not <laughs> Then why don't you have the, why, because I'm, I'm why trying, don't I know I'm the answer? I'm trying to go deeper in the answer. Okay, let's do this. Uh, so. I think in life, you will always, especially if you're in, in places where large energies are moving, mm -hmm. right? you will always get hurt. It's not, uh, if you do what I do, you will get hurt. It's not uh, a possibility, mm -hmm. it's a certainty. Mm -hmm. right? Because it's like, it's like swimming uh, in an in a ocean with big waves, mm -hmm. right? You are going to go under. It's not, it's not that you're not, mm -hmm. right? So then when you go under, you learn how to react properly. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you... Uh, so loss are, is productive. Loss the single, mm -hmm. the single biggest learning experience of my life was my father's death. There is no bigger experience than that, mm -hmm. right? Now, I can look at it and say, uh, the person who, or the force that killed my father, mm -hmm. uh, caused me tremendous pain. Sure, it's correct. As a son, I lost my father, and many of you would have. And that's very painful. But then I can't get away from the fact that that same event also made me learn things that I would have never, ever learned otherwise. Right? Mm -hmm. So as long as you're ready to learn, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how nasty people are or how evil people are, as long as you're ready to learn. Mm -hmm. If I turn around and you know, uh, Mr. Modi attacks me, and I say, oh my god, he's so vicious, he's attacking me. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one way of looking at it. And the other way of looking at it is say, great, I just learned something from him. Mm -hmm. Give me some more. Mm -hmm. OK. Very Gandhian. Uh, but now, yeah. With you, you, no, but you, you come to this, right? When you're, when, you're facing, uh, when you're facing an attack, you come to this. There is no, there is no other realization possible. Right, it's like. You. It's like that there's, there's a poem, I, I don't remember the name. Um, it's written by, I think, I think it's a Palestinian person All right. who's been put in jail. Okay. I'll, I'll send it to you. Okay. And he's talking to the jailer. He's talking to the jailer. And the jailer, um, he says to the jailer, look, from the, from the small window of my cell, mm -hmm. I can see your big cell. Right. Right. So everyone's in jail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right. 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 And and you've got to be able to see that properly. Right. And if you see that properly, then you can figure out ways to deal with it or ways to get out. It's great to see you here. Thank you for watching our work. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo Story and support independent, robust journalism.